Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make cookie dough frosting. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, so today I have a recipe for cookie dough icing that actually tastes like cookie dough, that isn't too sweet, it's not too grainy, I think you're going to love it. Now to begin, we're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This recipe does use flour, and as a lot of you know, flour has recently been linked to E. coli, so in order to eradicate any risk of getting sick from this recipe, we are going to start by baking our flour. We're going to just evenly spread this flour onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Just use a spoon to distribute that a little better. And we'll take this over to our 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven. Make sure your oven is fully preheated and we'll bake it for about five to seven minutes. If you can, I recommend using a thermometer to make sure that this is cooked at least to 160, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, once the flour has finished baking, you are going to want to let it cool completely. Make sure it's cooled 100% before you add it to any of your other ingredients or it will actually melt your cookie dough frosting. So while that's cooling, we can actually go ahead and start making the rest of our frosting. You're going to need a large bowl for this or you can mix everything in your stand mixer. We'll add two sticks or one cup of unsalted butter to the bowl and ideally this butter should be softened. Next, you're going to need one cup of firmly packed brown sugar. You can use all light brown sugar for this recipe, but to give that the cookie dough frosting like a nice color, I like to use two thirds cup of light brown sugar and one third cup of dark brown sugar. We'll also add one half cup of granulated sugar. And now you're going to need an electric mixer to beat everything together until it's creamy and very well combined. The next thing you need is 1 4th cup of sweetened condensed milk. This might seem like an unusual ingredient for frosting, but to keep this from being too gritty or too sweet from using too much actual sugar, we are using sweetened condensed milk to help us get the right frosting consistency to keep things from being too grainy. It's the same reason I use it for my cookie dough bites recipe. And we'll also add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now we'll stir everything together until it's combined and then we're going to increase our mixer speed to high and continue to beat this for another minute or another one to three minutes until everything is really well combined. Beating the frosting for this additional time helps the sugar to dissolve a little bit and helps make sure that we have a nice smooth consistency for our frosting. About halfway through we'll pause to scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl to make sure we're getting all of our ingredients well combined. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Just going to scrape everything together in the bowl. Now we're going to add our flour that we cooked. Now make sure this flour is completely cool before you add it to your other ingredients. Now I'm going to use my electric mixer in just a minute, but before I do that, I'm just going to use my spatula to start getting the ingredients worked together. That way the flour doesn't go flying everywhere. We're gonna use our electric mixer to stir everything together until it's pretty creamy and well combined. Of course, you wanna scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl periodically just so you can ensure everything's getting well combined. The next ingredient you need for this frosting is heavy cream. We are going to start with two tablespoons of heavy cream and if needed, we'll add an additional tablespoon at a time until we get our frosting to the right consistency. Now we'll stir this in with our mixer on high speed for about 30 seconds. It's nice and smooth. I don't think we need to add any more cream to this actually. Now, if you're just going to be spreading this icing on top of cupcakes or on a cake, you can go ahead and add your chocolate chips now, because of course, what is cookie dough frosting without some chocolate chips in it? You'd need about a half cup each of mini chocolate chips and regular size semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now, I want to pipe this icing though, so obviously if I add the chips, they're going to clog up my piping tip, so we are going to add the chips after we've piped our frosting on our cupcakes. 
So I'll transfer the frosting to a piping bag. You can use any piping tip that you want, but today I'm using an Attico 848. I'll just pipe this frosting over my cupcakes. These are my easy vanilla cupcakes. I'll leave a link to them in the description in case you're interested. And even though this cookie dough frosting isn't overbearingly sweet, it is still pretty rich, so I don't like to put a ton of frosting on each cupcake. And here is where I'll add the chocolate chips, and I'll just sprinkle them kind of strategically over each cupcake. Because of course it wouldn't taste like cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough frosting without chocolate chips. And that is how you make my new favorite frosting, cookie dough frosting. If you guys try this one out, I would love to hear what you think. As you know, I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> you don't even need a cupcake, just eat it by the spoonful.